Good Thursday, everyone. Our weather map today shows strong to severe thunderstorms down in the southern plains today. From central Oklahoma down through eastern Texas and northern Louisiana and southern Arkansas. That area has been a hot spot, though, for, for the last few months, it seems like. They have just been highlighted time and time again for strong to severe thunderstorms and heavy rainfall. And most of the time, that's happened. So they've had a, they've had a rough winter. Farther to the north of them in the colder air, you see all kinds of mixed precipitation from northern Kansas right on up into Minnesota and Wisconsin and um, upper, Mich upper parts of Michigan. So a very wintry day for those folks. The western U.S. is finally looking sunny and clear, which I'm sure is a welcome sight for those folks. Looking at our five-day forecast, we're going to be looking pretty good today, too. We've got some 20-mile-per-hour wind gusts from time to time that will be picking up as we get later into the afternoon and evening. But highs around 60, that's going to feel pretty good, especially after the, the cool weather we've had. Tonight, rain moves in later in the night, mostly after midnight. Lows in the mid to upper 40s. The winds will be picking up some more tonight, too, up to 30 miles per hour. Friday, 30 mile per hour wind gusts, 100% chance of rain, perhaps even a rumble of thunder. Temperatures will be falling as we get later into the day, into the afternoon, and so mid 50s dropping off down into, by the time all is said and done Friday night, into the low 20s. Rain will be ending Friday night, but could see a snowflake chase the cold air. Saturday, a partly cloudy skies, highs only in the low 40s. Look at that, Saturday night, lows in the mid to upper teens. With the possibility of some 20 mile per hour wind guys that is going to be absolutely cold especially after all the mild weather we've had and then sunday has only in the 30s so a very very chilly weekend in store for us very not spring like <laughs> that is for sure but then by monday a warming trend ensues we bounce right back up into the mid to upper 40s and on this day in 1942, a terrible tornado day for Tennessee, especially just west of Nashville. I mean, one, in one area, the soil was swept away. Now, that is a powerful tornado when that can happen. And a boy was killed in that. Seven other people injured. Eight farms torn apart in the community of Lick Creek. Five fatalities, 68 injuries. F3 tornado struck Humphreys County. Another F3 struck Cheatham County. So a lot of damage going on around the western portions of Middle Tennessee on that day. And then on that same day in 1942, two tornadoes only 24 minutes apart struck Baldwin, Mississippi. So what an interesting time for those folks. You, know, you get through one tornado and then here comes another. Well, you folks have a wonderful Thursday and keep looking up. I'll be at North School this morning visiting the kindergartners and the third graders talking weather and space. You folks have a wonderful day. For more weather information, just keep reading along in the blog, meteorologistmark.com.